All right, we go. Like <laughs> it down. Now picture this. You're on the highway going 80 miles per hour. All of a sudden you hear three months preparing this trip. You got the motorcycle all ready, the family ready. You took off vacation from uh, work a whole week on the road. It's night. You've been on the road for 19 and a half hours, 950 miles into the ride, and you hear that sound. You look around, you're the only one out there. There's no gas station within reach, completely dark. You fear exactly what's going to happen. You dread the moment that you need to stop the bike. On the front end, starting to wobble. Damn, pull over, and what do you see? Oh shit, how did I, what do I do now? I'm gonna show you what you could have done to prevent that horrible situation and continue the ride without any further delays. So obviously, all jokes aside, it could be anything. Piece of debris, metal that came off a truck, a nail, bolt, any piece of metal that's stuck inside the tire itself. And with the tubeless tire, only way to keep going is to have to fix it. So let me show you the kit that I got. Previous owner left. I cleaned it up. So step one, let's get ourselves a flat tire. Battery. Oh, nice. How about this guy, huh? All right, we go. <laughs> I have a set of pliers. Rip out that screw. My kit does not have pliers. Just bring my own pliers. Many times you have a screw, a bolt, whatever inside and very, very slow leak. That is actually a good case. Once you take that screw bolt out, that's when the air comes out. That's your already consideration if to continue with the screw bolt in till the nearest repair shop or whatever. But let's say the air is out already. Now slowly rip this out. A lot of force needed. Whether spin it around, twist it around. Well, I'd say if you still have the screw top, might as well run, run it out with the screwdriver. Ideally, if you still have the threads, you can work the, sc the screw out. If not, then you just have to use a lot of force. Slowly coming out. Okay, it's right here. Mark the area so you don't lose the spot. This is the kit, CK Auto. That's what I used. I mean, you can get anyone. Because it's for any automotive. Uh, and it comes with these tools. The first tool, is the prep tool is this like little it's called like a wine bottle opener this is where we're going to drill it in to the tire pull in and out to make to enlarge in that hole so then later on we can come in with the second tool this tool is where you put these patches special it's like it's like little pieces of rope uh, covered with rubber and uh adhesive those are the actual plugs themselves they will go later on onto the tip of this and then goes in i'll show you very soon and once it's done you cut there's a it came with a little knife over here as well like a little knife razor cut the excess off some kind of a lubricant so it's easy you put the tip you put on the tip of the inserter so it's easier to go through the rubber it's obviously uh, like instructions on how to do stuff but I'm telling you, so they actually give you a little spare uh, cores of the, you know, of the tire inflating core, just in case you broke or whatever, or a seal. And a little tool to take the core out. Anyway, that's to take it out. Spare additional ones, I checked, they're the same, they're the same size. I don't think they're different, so it's spare. Okay, let's start with this tool. They say to work it in while twisting it in. A lot of force. Okay, it's in. Then they say to pull it in and out, in and out, to get a nice and round hole over here so the plug fits in. Let me do it again a few times, they say. I'm twisting it in and pulling it out. I'll do it a few times. Nice hole prepared with this tool. Now we switch over to the second tool. Now this is the plug insertion tool. One of the plugs, just take it out of its it's really sticky and it's it's full of adhesive obviously let's take it out thread it through here use the pliers to put it on the other side now put it in when it's halfway there a little bit more the tip you want to lubricate with the provided i don't know lubricant you call it the tip so it goes easier like vaseline kind of okay now let's plug it in again same concept slowly push it in while spinning as well and you may need a lot of force for this like a lot, a lot. it's going and it's in 
leave a little bit a little bit out see how much is left out now what they say is pull this piece in and pull this out the plug will stay in place let me continue it's in the plug is in the job is done actually cut the tip let me show you the the plug is in now we're going to cut using the razor to flatten it out using the fancy razor flattening it out it has that gooey tar kind of looking stuff with the plug inside now now let's inflate it as for the pump i know they sell you see them popping up on instagram and online all the time these motorcycle portable inflators i don't have one i'm going to be using this one i got this on amazon it goes with my 20 volt dewalt system that i have i set the pressure by the way this is what i'm going to take with me on my saddle sore although uh, the gold wing has a very very cool feature i can utilize it but i don't want i'm not going to do it this time because i'm not too familiar with it but let me show you over here an air pressure system where you have an outlet when the bike is running press on the outlet and over here right side there's an air outlet right here i connect the hose and this hose goes to my, my tires gets all the way up to the back and to the front tire so it's self-sufficient on that this time i'm gonna just gonna take this pump with me it's gonna be with me on the saddle store and that's what we're gonna use now Click. but while what i'm trying to show you with this is don't just get yourself a kit and have it laying down somewhere in your bags actually practice do it once or twice till you feel comfortable uh, just find an old uh, tire or something and practice it once or twice until you feel comfortable that you will not be stranded at the side of the road in the middle of the night. Seems like it works. Let it pressurize. Obviously what you could have done to take care of that flat tire is fix it if you only had that kit. I picked it up on Amazon. I'm gonna have a link down by the description just in case. How long did that take me? First time ever, it took me 15 minutes. Try it out once so you don't get stranded in the middle of the street. What if I told you that I can show you something that would just let you ride on and not stop? People use this for two purposes. First, in balancing your uh, wheels, your tires. Once you put that in, it's a fluid that runs in a tubeless tire inside. And because of centrifugal forces, they spread out all over the radius, the inner radius of the tire. It balances the wheels and the tires as you're riding. So once you run this inside your tubeless tire, you don't need the weights. You can get rid of the weights. People use that for show bikes or any bikes that the wheels are so beautiful and pretty, the rims are so nice, and you don't want to spoil it with that disgusting looking, you know, weights second purpose for this and that's what people use it a lot it's a gooey liquidy substance that once it's in the tire itself it just stays as a liquid somewhat of a gel liquid once it hits air that's when it solidifies and becomes solid so if you do have tire leak from a nail or something or a small crack this liquid finds its way through that crack and once it hits the outer part of, of the wheel of the tire itself it hardens and it becomes an immediate plug that's why they call it ride on. You don't need to plug the tire because this itself, like as if a self sealing uh, tire that you're running. A ride on, there are a lot of companies out there. There's uh, slime, green stuff, yellow stuff, blue stuff, whatever stuff. I just heard a lot of good reviews about this. John used it, I hear. By no means is this uh, sponsored, by the way. I bought this for my own money. But they do have a little table where you run the number, uh, like the size of your tire, 160 by 80, 16, whatever and it tells you how many uh, fluid ounces you need. On my front, I need a 10 ounce amount. So it's it gonna be one full bottle and another two ounces. And on the back, I'm gonna need 12. Step number one, I was told, is to take like the stem out of the, the nipple, we call this. What is this thing called? I don't even know. Take it out, let the air out, drop all the way to the bottom, and then put the liquid in. They have a little hose. Very important, they say, uh, never apply this when the stem is anywhere between two and 10 o'clock when it's on the top don't do it they say only do what's on the bottom they give you a little tool over here to deflate the tire and then pour this in it should be straightforward it's not about taking the air out you just need to take the core out as well because you don't run the liquid through the core wipe it down cut the tip off make sure this is open yeah it's not open connect this
Simple as that. So I filled two more ounces from the other one below high pressure in here to clear up and then put the stem in. Okay, once it's, once it's cleared, I'll put the, the stem back in. Let it go to 33. And over here on the gold wing, it's on the back, right over here. Higher pressure, 33 in the front, 36 in the back. And so it stopped at 33. The liquid is inside and you can literally take Take these ugly weights off. And do the same thing in the back. If I ever use those skateboards that are hanging in my garage, especially in jobs just like this. Who said I don't use them? Into the close enough. How oh, my skate me and my skateboard. Exactly the same thing. It's gonna be need to get the bottle up here and squeeze it, but it's the pretty much same thing cap it so i absolutely feel all prepared for the ride tomorrow tomorrow is going to be the saddle sore bike is ready oil changed tires played around with brakes are good weather looks good by the time you see this i've already done the ride i'll be at my parents is already house be prepared and hope for the best hi i'm sandy you're watching holy shift till the next video guys peace out